Yeah, do you feel like you've been more <clears throat> consistent this year? Yeah, coming in the uh, end of the season, I think I've been doing a, a great job of being consistent in, in my gameplay, and uh, my teammates been helping with me and coaches as well. What does it mean to you to be in the senior bowl? Uh, it means a lot to me, man. It's a great opportunity, and I think I'll do great out there. I think I'll get an opportunity to meet some great guys and some great players and coaches. You're probably going to have some teammates there next day. Yeah, that's going to be fun, too, to get get out there with my teammates and uh, relive it one more time for the last time. It's been a while since Tennessee's had much representation there at that senior bowl and combine, things like that. Is that sort of a pride thing for you to really be able to represent the power team down there? Yeah, definitely <laughs> represent that power team. I think it's going to be... It's going to be awesome to be out there representing the uh, big orange. How does that like, probably invitation come about? Or when did you find out about it? Uh, maybe about last week sometime, or this week, I think. Found out about it probably like Tuesday, and then just talked with uh, some of our personnel with it, and I'm excited about it. Second straight year, y'all are 5-5 five and five with Missouri and Mandy coming up. Just what did y'all kind of learn from last year and take into this year? Why do you think maybe this team's more equipped to kind of deal with the situation at this point? Uh, I think we've been playing our best ball at the end of the season, and I think uh, we're not really worried about last year because last year, I mean, we can't do nothing about it. It's, it's in the past, so we're worried about getting healthy this week and then getting ready for uh, Missouri um, next week. Have you all talked to some of the newcomers about just not taking anything for granted, uh, what happened last year, just to, to kind of know that you need to keep your focus these last couple of weeks? No, nah, we don't talk about last year, but... Um, we definitely just tell them keep focused. Don't take the yeah, don't take nothing for granted because any any uh, opportunity can come, it can happen at any moment. Uh, but we just make sure we stand prepared for anything that happens. Your how big was it to run on the road, give you guys confidence that you can go back and do it? Since you <clears throat> oh yeah, that was big. That was a, bit, a lot of confidence for us. Um, it was a good confidence builders for us, and I think we played well in the second half. We didn't come out too good in the first half. We played well in the second half and. It showed, and I think it was definitely a great confidence builder to get that win on the road since we haven't won all season on the road. So that was good for us. How did you just the bus ride back? Oh, man, the bus ride was <laughs> the bus ride was crazy. Dudes were just joking the whole time, but we had a good time and enjoyed that win. Take us through the key in-game adjustments and why, even though you gave up some yards against Kentucky and then you were able to be more effective and, and keep them off the scoreboard as they did. Yeah, the, uh, the second half adjustment was just keep the quarterback bottled up and stop the run because we didn't stop the run in the first half, and that's what something we was trying to do the uh, second half, and I think we did a good job of that, keeping them out of the end zone and shutting them out in the second half. So I think we did an awesome job with that. During the last three games, I think the defense has given up one touchdown in the second half. Why do you think y'all have been so good in the second half? Well, I think it's because big Coach Pruitt has just been getting our tails, but <laughs> I think it's, um, it's also because um, I think we've been coming a second half team. I know we uh, we always talk talk about being a four quarter team, but I think we've been getting our money in the second half. And I think uh, as the game goes on, I think we've uh, gotten stronger as a defense and we've played a lot better in the second half than we did in the first half of the game. I think you have six sacks on, or maybe seven sacks in six games or something like that. What's changed for you over the last few weeks? You've gotten been able to get the quarterback a little bit more. Uh, just I think it's just being in my last year, and I, um, I've been trying to focus a lot more on studying film, studying uh, not uh, what offenses run, but studying tackles, quarterbacks, and things like that. And if they try to double team me, study how they will do that and uh, things like that. And I think I've been doing a good job of that uh, the uh, last end of the season. I think uh, it's been showing. Coach Pruitt talks a lot about yeah, you guys, this team, having a lot to prove. What did, what did you go into the season wanting to prove for yourself? Uh, prove that I can be a great uh, pass rusher and show that I can stop the run and play in coverage as well. What was this coaching staff's approach? What did they kind of say to y'all when things weren't going so well in late September that enabled y'all to turn things around the way you had? Uh, we just say keep swinging because we was always there. We just uh, some parts went all together and um, we were uh, just not all tied together on defense, uh, back end to the front end and the middle linebackers. But I think we've been doing that the last few games, and I think we're headed in the right direction. You know, we talked to Kevin Rodgers earlier. What have some of your battles been with him, and what's it been like to see him kind of fight off all the injuries he's had in the past? Man, that guy, that's, that guy has been fighting off a lot of injuries, and I'm proud of him. I think he's been doing a great job, and so is the rest of the old line. A lot of guys are banged up, but it's like it's the end of the season. That's how it's supposed to be. So we're just trying to get healthy this week so we can uh, be prepared for next week. Yeah, that's 
easy this week in terms of practice? You're going to be out there and they practice kind of what's your schedule? I don't know what they're going to do for me, so I'm just ready to practice. So it is what it is. I'm ready to go, ready to go full throttle. Hey. I was gonna say, Trey Smith was nominated for the uh, Jason Witten Man of the Year Award, and I want to get your take on Trey Smith and what you've seen out of him. Man, that's awesome that he got nominated for that award, man. I congratulate him for that. And that's uh, when you get when you get nominated for an award like that, I think it's really exciting to have somebody on your team like that that can show character like he's shown, uh, um, considering what he's gone through. So I think that's really good for him, and I, and I think it's an awesome situation. Do you kind of appreciate what all he's had to go through to get on the field? Yeah, you definitely appreciate it because it makes you wonder. You never know what can happen during the season or what can happen in your life. So. I definitely appreciate having him on our team. He's like an idol for us. Joe, you've talked about special teams before. Darrell had that. You want to create a team. You guys overall have done a pretty nice job on special teams. How big has that been in the turnaround of the season? Yeah, the special team has been a lot for us. Uh, we we put our money on our special team because we uh, we uh, take pride in our special team. Coach Pruitt uh, hammers that every week that we need to take pride in our special team because Nobody on our defense or offense can um, play unless they start on a special team. So that's how we've always been around here since Coach Brew has been here. Daryl, considering, uh, assuming you would say you would be the best, who do you think would be the second best basketball player out of the outside <laughs> linebacker room? <laughs> assuming you're the best. Probably Kevon like Bennett. He can shoot that ball a little bit. Nobody can stop me from getting to the cup. But yeah, Kevon <laughs> Bennett can shoot that ball. I can't lie about that. <laughs> would you be a starter on the all Tennessee football basketball team? Oh, yeah, I'd definitely be a starter. I'd probably be small for, you know, <laughs> handling the ball just a little bit. You, Coron Calvert, and who else? Because mm. Coron's pretty much the best offensive line that's been what we yeah, he, he probably he probably is. It's probably be me, him. Did Jennings make a lineup? Oh yeah. Him, Marquez, and we'll probably have Tim Jordan at point guard. <laughs> yeah.